Larson Transport is a company uh, working in the railway industry. The railway market is, uh, is becoming much more competitive. It's much more market-driven in terms of usage, uh, services uh, uh, for the final customer, to the one using the, the, the trains, and for the operators. Our customer, they would like to get products, but they would like to get their product different from the product of the other operator. And the only way to do that is system engineering. Because if we don't do system engineering, we start from a solution. And the solution is an existing solution. So where is the innovation if it's existing? When we decided to use uh, PTC Integrity Modeler for uh, the CML modeling approach, we analyze different opportunities in the market. And we have selected that tool, I could say, for uh, different major reasons. But each of one is, is a major reason. One is the real compliance with the standards. The second aspect is uh, the distribution of our engineering teams. They are everywhere. We want them to work simultaneously on the same model. And for that, the tool Integrity Modeler is very good, very good. We can be in different places, different teams at different system levels could interact and create the full model. And that is a good solution. What do I like in, in Integrity Modeler? In fact, it's like, um, I could say, talking to friends to clarify my mind. I have something in mind, it's not very clear, I don't know exactly, okay. I want to have a better understanding. I put that within Integrity Modeler and that became clear and clear and now I understand. It's crystal clear. So the idea in, in model-based system engineering is not to reduce the part allocated to time allocated to specification. It is to reduce the time allocated to final integration and test because we do it good from the first time. So we reduce that time and the expectation is to reduce something like 30% of the uh, development duration. We are still spending the same efforts in specification. But what we were doing previously is now done in one third of the time. So we use the two additional third to improve the quality of specification. The real impact is at the end of the process to reduce the integration. But if we want to reduce the integration, we need better specification. And the link between system engineering and innovation is that uh, system engineering is one of the tools used for innovation. And we really think that it's important to have a strong system engineering vision before having a strong uh, innovation strategy and vision.